Alright guys, welcome back to my survival world, and as you can see, I'm in the end, and it is completely halfway covered in water. About. I'm actually working on an Enderman XP farm, and uh, this is kind of my current project. It's kind of what I'm going on right now. Once I get it all worked out and everything going all smooth, I think I'll go ahead and make a tutorial uh, over it. Uh, once I get it, you know, high efficiency and really, really working well, uh, as you can see, there's the the platform down there. And uh, in case you guys hadn't noticed yet, mo the YouTube layout has all changed, and I have like a title cover now on my channel, and I actually have a Twitter account that I'll be using to, you know, notify people when a video goes up. Or things about like community world notices or anything like that. So if you want to be informed about that, um, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I've never, I don't really use it. Uh, I haven't ever really used Twitter before. But uh, it's a pretty handy tool. I've had one for a while. I've just never tweeted. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, a link will be on screen. And there's also the link on my main channel. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and... Follow me if you want to get updates and things like that. But uh, yeah, as for this, um, this Enderman trap, uh, it's not really a trap. It's more of a spawning pad. So the whole point, uh, y if you see these on PC, you'll see these same style platforms like way, way, way far away. But unfortunately in the Xbox version, and th this is another thing that I'm going to have to kind of take into consideration um, mess around in creative mode uh, when I'm making the tutorial. Uh, you can only go out a certain way. Uh, see, check it out. When when you're all the way on the edge like this, it'll actually eat your block. So say I want to build out one more. My block counter goes down, but no blocks appear. So it, it, I don't know. It's kind of a glitch. I'm not sure if anyone knows about that. But so your building dimensions in the end are rather limited. Uh, so you kind of want to pick a side where you can build out the furthest while being furthest away from that main island. Because you don't want the, because you'll have Endermen spawning up in your trap and you don't want them spawning anywhere else in the end. So you get the maximum amount of mobs that you can. And uh, as you can see, there's actually some spawning out there. Water, Endermen don't like water, which is why... Most of this is covered in water, at least the side facing the trap. And uh, they can only spawn in light level 7 or lower, uh, even in the end, I think. Uh, so 7 or lower. And m li like most mobs, most mobs are 7 or lower. But as far as this trap goes, uh, what it is, I'm, I'm actually expanding it uh, as we speak because... I was talking to my friend, uh, a moldy walnut, Zach. Uh, he kind of suggested or kind of, you know, thought that these single traps, single corridor traps where Endermen just fall down one corridor. Because imagine, imagine this design times four. Where that ladder was, I had these same kind of compartments lined up all the way to that, past that ladder. And, uh, but I think I'm just going to do one big one and just stack them on top of each other as to conserve space. And kind of keep all the Endermen spawning in one area. So how this trap works is you, you can see the uh, you step on the pressure plate. It uh, Here, I'll, I'll show you. So the pressure plate has a torch uh, sideways on the block uh, that it's on. And so when you power the pressure plate, it depowers the torch, which is inverting this torch underneath the piston. So when you stand on it, it uh, it gives power to the torch below this block, which turns it off, which allows this torch to turn on, which turns on the piston. And because Endermen are three blocks tall, and you know, like your Steve character is only two, you don't get pushed off, but the Endermen will. And they'll fall and they'll go and hit that platform down there. This is from this block that these um, pressure plates are on. It is, this is the 42nd block from that platform. So I just counted up 42 blocks to here. And I'm hoping 
that, well, 42 gives the Enderman half a heart, so they're just one hit from death. So you can just kind of run around down there and beat the crap out of Enderman. But uh, yeah, so I was just, I think, is this one ready? Yes, okay. So yeah, my I have this one with torches underneath it, and uh, you can tell the torches underneath it because the torches go out when you put them on top. So yeah, I'm just kind of finishing it off like this. And uh, I'll be able to duplicate this same design multiple layers up uh, above above it. So I'll have a few things going on at the same time. But uh, so yeah, once uh, wait. Why did this one turn off? Oh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm standing on the pressure plate and I'm wondering why the torches are going out. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. It looks like I'm going to... Uh, no, I got enough. But to, yeah, actually just, just recently I decided to go ahead and change um, the design of the Ender, Un Enderman XP farm into this one long corridor so that that's that's why I'm doing this all right now and we'll we'll kind of test it out and see how it goes but uh, yeah so I'll have a full tutorial out for how to do this but I'm um, sure you guys are picking up a lot of pointers on kind of how to get things started the main things that I'm not too sure about is again the spawning rates on the actual big island itself because I'm not too sure how things are affected, um, like how the water affects spawning, how the torches affect spawning on the big island, um, but, uh, you know, a little experimentation should figure it out. Oh, crap. Okay, I do not want to fall, because I believe I will die. I have feather falling, but... Yeah, that that's a long fall. That is a long fall. Tell you, it is pretty nerve-wracking up here because the this thing is literally designed to push you off or to push, you know, the Enderman off. And while you're just a you're one block, you're like a hair shorter <laughs> than uh from death. You're a hair away from death. Good thing good thing I'm a bear and have short hair. <laughs> Okay, okay. so that, that should pretty much do it for the pistons. And uh, all these other blocks that are up here, like as you can see, I, uh, I was covering them in half slabs because mobs can't spawn on half slabs, and I was, I was actually also oh, covering the, the tops of the pistons in half slabs as well because mob, mobs won't spawn on half slabs. So literally the only thing that could get spawned on would be these pressure plates. And yes, they the Endermen do spawn on them. So it's, it's kind of cool how that works. Oh, crap. Oh, I forgot about this row. Can I reach it? Oh, I'm one away. Dang it. Okay. Uh, the one... I, I use so much of my wood <laughs> on this project... It's kind of a waste of uh, the the brown wood, the spruce wood, because you know I I had I had plenty. Oh, actually, you know what? It's mostly in that chest down there. I'm pretty sure, but <laughs> I would use like the colored wood for like sticks, you know, stupid stuff like that, you know. And I had plenty, plenty of regular wood, but uh, oh well, I I yeah I, I had so much it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that pretty much does it for. Oh, almost forgot about these. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and test this out in just a second here. Make sure these are all covered. Oh, retract. Okay, place it just like so. Um, do I even need these? Well, I might as well cover them. Okay. I am so happy they added a toggle crouch. <laughs> oh, it makes my life so much easier. Okay. 
Oh, and if you guys didn't notice, I uh, used up my levels. I don't know if you saw on the the last a few episodes ago, but uh, I was at 30, and I finally enchanted. I decided to enchant an axe, and I got efficiency four, unbreaking three, and silk touch one on an axe. And you know, I'm not too pot. Oh wait, wait. I'm gonna knock out these torches. That's right. Finish these. You know, Silk Touch on an axe, really only good for leaves, I think. I mean, I, I can't really think of much else that you would need efficiency. I mean, uh, <laughs> Silk Touch on for an axe besides leaves. But, uh, all right, we're going to kind of see how this goes. Hopefully this goes all right. But imagine that design duplicated, like, I don't know, eight, eight or so times up top. Go ahead and collect all these items. Oh my god, did this guy... Oh god. Oh oh yeah, this guy spawned down here. That's right. I was like, why aren't you a one-hit? Man, he almost killed me. Okay, so it looks like our first Enderman fell, so he just... Alright, nice, nice. Alright, hey, we're getting Enderman. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I think I like this design better. I think I'm going to go ahead and like finish out the cobblestone. But, uh... Nice, nice. And and once it's a lot taller, and uh, let's see, we can probably see Endermen. Yeah, look at all those Endermen. They're spawning all over this island. I kind of want to just blow it up. But I know that... <laughs> blow oh my gosh, look at that Enderman. He's on a single block way out there. I'm going to look right at him. <laughs> look at that. Wow. So... Look at that. Endermen are just spawning in all the nooks and crannies. Man, that sucks. Okay, well, I'm going to ha go have to get a bunch of gunpowder. <laughs> go make some TNT. I, I think I have about two and a half stacks, so that won't really get me any gunpowder at all. But I'll go sit at the mob spawner for a while and uh, hopefully collect a ton because that's pretty ridiculous. Because you want, you want as many mobs... In this case, Enderman spawning up there as possible. See, as you can see. I mean, what I was like a level 7 just a second ago, and I've only killed like 5 of them. So that's pretty good. But, uh, alright guys. Well, I hope you enjoy this episode, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep fiddling around in the end uh, for a while. And uh, try and build that up bigger. Because as you can see, I had a ton of pistons from the other designs uh, that I haven't quite used up yet. But, uh... All right, guys, I'm going to go and smack the crap out of this Enderman. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you later.